Hi everyone, it's Yago here again with another tutorial for Utao. This tutorial is to show you how to add a name, image, sample, description, and more to your voice bank. What I mean by this is when you click the image in the top left for each voice bank, you can see there's an image, there is the name of the voice bank, and there's a description box, as well as the samples and maybe more or less information depending on what you wish to add. In comparison, here is the test bank that we made in the previous tutorial. And as you can see, it is just called test, which is the file's name. There's no image, there's no description, and the sample will display random samples from within the voice bank. This isn't the most important part of making a voice bank, but it brings the whole project together, in my opinion. And you should do this with your voice banks, especially if you're going to be sharing them with other people. The first step is to simply open a blank notepad file. There are six things that you can put in this file. You might not necessarily want them all, but it is important that they stay in this order. Name. Author. Version. Sample. web and image. You don't have to fill in the information for every single one of these if you don't want to and you can simply delete the ones that you don't want to use. For example, I'm not going to include version or web but I will show you how to do the name, the author, the sample and the image. It's really important that they stay in the right order otherwise it it will get confused and not be able to display any of this information properly. I'm just going to use the same test voice bank. I'm going to call it test bank and for author I'm just going to put my name in. For the sample I have prepared in advance a sample out of the voice bank that we made and it is called test example dot wav so for the sample name test example dot wav this will be whatever the file name of your sample that you want to use will be image is where you are gonna have to make sure you do a few things first you have to have the image as a certain size and a certain file type i've just got this little doodle of a cat here to show for this example this will obviously be whatever image you want for your voice bank. It can be a logo, it can be a drawing of the character, it can be whatever you want. But make sure you follow these steps because otherwise it doesn't work. I've been there, I have done that and it didn't work for me and I spent so long figuring it all out. Some people say that you have to use paint to do this but I have used paint.net and it has worked for me. I'm not sure about other programs but I'm assuming that they will also work. However, if they don't, I suggest just using Paint because you can do the, these things in Paint, but I will show you how to do these things in Paint.net. So the first thing is the image needs to be 100 pixels by 100 pixels. It can't be any bigger than that. Otherwise it won't display properly. It will only display the first 100 pixels by 100 pixels. This image size is clearly a lot bigger than 100 by 100 pixels. So, it's not a square, so the thing I'm going to do is crop it into a square just to make the resizing a little simpler. So image is still too big, so I'm going to resize it in image resize 100 pixels by 100 pixels. This is a quite small image. It may become a bit pixelated when you resize like this, so keep that in mind when you are creating the image that it is going to get squished and you might want to begin with a 100 by 100 canvas. Right, so I'm going to save the image now and I'm going to make sure I click the drop down menu and click BMP so it becomes a .BMP file. And I'm just going to rename it to test. Press OK down here. So now we can see that the image test.BMP is saved into the same file as the rest. Make sure it's all in one file, otherwise it won't be able to find it. Now I'm going to put the name in here, test.BMP. This next step is incredibly important to listen to, especially if you are using Japanese characters in your name. So file, save as, and you want to go down here where it says encoding. You want to click it and change it to ANSI. And then you want to put your file name as character txt it has to be character txt otherwise this will not work and it has to be encoded with ansi 
otherwise again it will not work if you're using Japanese characters in your voice bank's name. Once again make sure to save it in the same folder as the rest of your voice bank files are and that is your character file. You can see the name here is changed to test bank rather than test what it was before. The image in the corner has changed to that little cat and when we click it again the name is here as well as the author appearing here. Now if we click sample it plays a sample we told it to play. Next up is filling in this box here with a description for your voice bank. It's just the same as before where you open notepad you can write whatever you want in this and it will appear in that box provided you save it under the right name into the right place. Some people put their copyright information in here, some people put their contact information in here, some people put a more detailed description of their voice bank. You can put whatever you want in this box. I'm not entirely sure of the conventions myself but whatever you write in this file will appear in the description box for your voice bank. So it's exactly the same as before. File, save as, make sure the encoding is ANSI just in case you used any different characters and this time instead of character.txt we are calling it readme.txt and when we click the property of voice bank what we wrote in that file now appears here hope this tutorial has helped you guys out if you have any questions or problems please leave them in the comments and i will do my best to find the answers for you i just want to say a quick thank you as well for all the positive responses on the last tutorial video um the past month it has just blown up out of nowhere and I'm not entirely sure why i really appreciate that and i really really hope that it has been helping you guys i want to make more tutorials but it is still a thing that I am learning myself. I don't have the time to fully dedicate to doing weekly tutorials, so I hope once every month or so isn't too slow going for you guys. Thanks for watching guys and take care!